we have been around for over 20 years and we're here for them, whether they have young children or adults. We train a lot of professionals and families so they know what to do under many circumstances from educational training to even emergency response. We train police officers so if they come in contact with someone in an emergency situation, they know how to or not how to communicate with our folks. Um, And we do integrated recreation, a lot of advocacy. We develop resources across the state. We're here in New Haven County mostly, but we do work across the state. So to please call us if you're in need and we will help you navigate where you need to go. We've done training against bullying. We have gone into schools so that people understand what to look for for younger folks with autism. They don't mean to do the things that might be interpreted, right? They're not trying to to make, you know, more noise or whatever, and they get bullied for all the wrong reasons. Go in to help understand what autism is 101 to try to get ahead of the bullying. We don't like to have to go in and intercept something that's already happened. We try to get ahead of the curve as much as we can. We have a resource guide, which is phenomenal. It's probably the best thing on our website, and it's decades of us putting this stuff together so people have a one-stop shopping. It's very hard. There's so many Um, interventions that you might want to look at. It's a great website and you can go for free to look up what you might need for doctors or sensory integration or health or nutrition. It's all on there. We do have our training. We have our recreation schedules so you can see what your child may or may not want to participate in. Um, We have a resource fair in November. And that's somewhere where you can come and actually talk to people about what you need. It changes over time. What you need when they're three and what you need when they're 17 are very, very different.